We're going to talk about some of the science behind using stem cells for treating liver failure. Particularly, we're going to review a paper published four years ago in the journal Blood. Now, today in 2007, bone marrow stem cells are used to treat liver failure, at least experimentally and therapeutically in some parts of the world. Uh, it is also known that cord blood is a more potent source of stem cells than bone marrow. So one of the questions is, can cord blood also be used to regenerate liver? And the study was performed using mice, mice with liver failure. So liver failure is induced by administration of a compound called carbon tetrachloride, which induces periportal lipid peroxidation in the liver of the mouse. And in order to be able to test the activity of human stem cells, the human stem cells are administered into mice, but the mice used lack an immune system or lack a functional TB cell and NK cell compartment. They're called nods kid mice. So the model is human stem cells into immune compromised mouse in which the liver was damaged by carbon tetrachloride. What happens when you do this? Well, let's take a look at gene expression. This is a northern blot and the first control here is looking at most hepatocytes uh, either normal or treated with carbon te uh, tetrachloride you do not see human albumin which would make sense uh, now the starting population the human cells uh, the CD34 positive 38 negative which represents primitive human bone marrow cells a little more differentiated just CD34 positive cells from the human bone marrow or cord blood mononuclear cells these cells do not express transcripts for human albumin implying that there is not some type of liver progenitor cell in the bone marrow or at least a cell that produces albumin now when you look at the mice that have received the human stem cells uh, if you look on the on the left no carbon tetrachloride look at the hepatocytes from these mice there is no human albumin if you give to carbon tetrachloride, there is some human albumin expression, implying that the human cells are differentiated into a type of cell that's secreting human albumin. If you give carbon tetrachloride plus systemic levels of hepatocyte growth factor, you see a higher proportion of human albumin. And as controls in the mouse bone marrow or spleen, you don't see human albumin. And as a positive control, the hep G2 cell line, you see a lot of human albumin. Now, looking at the data in terms of um, a different format, you can see that the hematopoietic stem cells, uh, this is bone marrow, they do not secrete human albumin. If you administer them into mice and injure the liver, you see some human albumin expression. If you injure the mouse and give hepatocyte growth factor, human hepatocyte growth factor, you see an upregulation in human albumin expression. Uh, microscopically, here is a picture, uh, a diagram using immunohistochemistry, and the dark hair was our cells positive for human albumin, which have a hepatocyte-like morphology. And one of the other proteins important in liver function, a marker of liver, is a human cytokeratin 19, and as you can see, in the human mouse chimeras, there is some staining for human cytokeratin 19, and this is positive in the human liver, but it is absent in the cord blood. And if we look at the concentration of human albumin, the plasma of the mouse, uh, we can see that the mice which received cord blood CD34 cells have about 8 nanograms uh, of, of human of, of um, human plasma in the, in the and of human serum albumin in the plasma. If you look at administration of hepatocyte growth factor after giving cord blood CD34s, you see an increase in human serum albumin. Bone marrow stem cells, bone marrow derived CD34s also produce human albumin in the plasma of the mouse. And human plasma, of course, has a lot of human albumin. Mouse normal plasma from a mouse that didn't receive stem cells has, has uh, no human albumin. So, the conclusions, bone marrow and, both, and cord blood can differentiate into hepatic-like cells. When we say hepatic-like, we mean that 
phenotypically they express cytokeratin 19, uh, functionally they express human albumin. Uh, injury seems to induce a differentiation and expansion of the human cells in the human stem cells in the mouse liver, and administration of a parasite growth factor can also increase the differentiation and expansion. So, what this a study performed in 2003 provides at least some of the scientific background for why human stem cells can differentiate into hepatic cells. One of the caveats of the study is that functional recovery or lifespan after induction of liver failure was not looked at, but um, other studies were performed, which can be seen um, from PubMed.com, uh, which addresses this issue. Thank you very much.